Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello to you all. Today we are going to up and I'll make an retrospective, explain the whole logic and make some conclusions. So let's start. As you can see, we have 12 activities here, 3 fragment classes and 3 adapters. In layout folder, we have XMLs and each XML represents a screen for one activity. We have some custom design objects here. Also, we have uh, pictures and other things that we implemented in our app. We have values here, our colors, diamonds, strings and styles. We have menu where we have our bottom navigation bar. And we implemented also some design animations to our design to make up our app looks nice. In assets folder we have font custom font which we are using through this application. When we talk about web services that we are using in our app, there are Firebase database. Also we have implementation of a uh, lot of libraries like Picasso, Jojo, 64's Graph and uh, Circle Image View and as you can see it's a bunch of implementation libraries here. So now let's go in the review the app so we can talk about everything that we learned through our code for files. Let's open the main activity app and as usually we firstly define some design objects and variables then initialize them so we can use them later. You could saw through tutorials that I always use this pattern. I define my objects and variables here and I initialize it like the in like this with initialize function so I know that I have done that first and uh, I can use every my data later. After that we have a most important part of every activity after initialization where we are doing everything that we need to do in that activity and that's the pattern which I use in uh, all of these activities and classes that's something uh, of uh, my choice but I recommend you to, to do everything like this because it's good for your organization. Let's continue. We have, like we explained, simple register function which is built in Firebase and we used it from there. We have some conditions and uh, successful or not successful depends what we will do next. Let's go to the login activity. Again, like I mentioned before, same pattern and then we have function from Firebase where we are logging our user, we are getting user ID here and uh, informing user if there is any error. After that we have profile activity. Profile activity is activity where we represent uh, basic data about user, we have usage of circle image view, I'll show you, and uh, Picasso library here, as you can see, we are showing also nickname and balance, and uh, we're enabling user to choose where he wants to go next, he has four options here, so that could be it about profile activity, we are at the cards activity, and as you know this activity is with very simple code, it's a uh, more about design when we talk about this screen. As you can see here is the usage of my transfer button with transparent background. That's my custom design object. Uh, I talked and mentioned why I done this like this. Uh, you can see the code, bunch of intents and uh, these intents lead us uh, depending on what do we Choose. Also we have a preparing function here that uh, we are reading our data and from database so we can use them later. Also we have initialize function there like in every previous and next activity. Business activity is the brain of our application. We are receiving data and preparing it to later using here. As you can see receiving data from intents. Many actions with a database like uh, reading plans and investments we have here as you can see loading invested loading plans we have pop-ups for uh, submitting investments and plans 
and we have to update our values in a database so as I said this activity is the most important activity for the whole app point of this app is in business activity it contains everything reading loading updating writing receiving intents we're at the statistic activity where we are manipulating with fragments and connection between them and bottom navigation bar as you can see we are using get support fragment manager to begin transaction and to replace default fragment with selected fragment now we're going to talk about fragment classes fragment classes which are possible to switch with navigation bar contain different types of statistic representation of our financial situation in uh, fragment home we have some basic review of our incomes and investments plans and monthly finances so as you can see we have four options here when we talk about uh, incomes and investments those are very similar to activities primarily task in these two activities is to read data from database and represent it transparent we have a lot of calculations here like calculating total sum of incomes investments average income number of incomes etc etc same is for the investment again reading representing and calculating that now we are at the plans activity where we are getting plans from database and showing them for each category especially also we have our animation here design animation for sliding text you up and down at the monthly activity we have possibility to add and see monthly finances in most of these activities which I mentioned for Fragment Home, we are using Recycler View to represent data, communicating with it by our adapters. Three adapters, each one for a different category of uh, data representation. As you can see, uh, it's same pattern for everyone, but uh, only difference is uh, with item design for Recycler View. Now Fragment uh, Graph. Graphic display of financial situation. We are here using Jojo64 library and we have functions to show series and uh, remove them. These functions are manually coded so we can adjust them and customize if it needed. Also we have customized look of the graph. As you can see we change some colors, set some animations and uh, that would be it about graph. I explain how to implement graph also that's very important and uh, we here have reading data from database and then implementing it to graph in this fragment here we have some static text so let's show layout as you can see we have some types and advices for saving your money there are three options and then we calculate how many money would be saved if we use that method of saving money we use this activity to set limits for some of our categories also we are using add the text and getting uh, text from them we are using design animations like in the rest of the app when we talk about add the text i mentioned this text input layout like special layout for effects with added text before in add activity we can fill our account balance we have also animated edit text and that would be it about this retrospective of our app we learned a lot of things through these tutorials some of the basic function that we went through this application are in tenth toast we learned how to initialize objects and how to load data and write data to database i want to say something about organization of this app App is separated in three parts, registration, primary work and statistic. In registration part I include registration, profile, add and limit activity. The part where we upload our data to database so we have something with which we can manipulate later. Primary work is business activity where we are investing and making some plans, some adjustments our financial situation that is the most important part of our app and then we have statistic where we can see how our financial situation is going through the time also can see graphic display of our investments incomes we can 
have a review of a monthly financial situation and uh, that's plan where we are loading data and showing data from database which we before loaded and uh, manipulated with it everything is uh, planned to be connected so we can prevent errors in loading data and we can organize it point of this tutorial was to show you how to organize your app and connect activities. We learn almost everything about this separately, so I wanted to take a look at it as a whole and see how it is functioning. It's important to learn language and functions which you can use, but if you do not know how to arrange and organize activities in your app, you'll get stuck at some point. Do not focus strictly on one part of Android Studio. Try to look at every app as a whole and think one step in advance before you code something so you can prevent errors and you don't have to code something twice before because your plan is not good. Before we end this video I want to tell you something about one method for uh, solving errors that's try and catch method and as you can see it's represented here so we have try, then try to do something, to do this here, and if uh, we have some error, we'll catch that error, and we can show message with that error in our app, as you can see with this exception. So this is, in many cases, the best way to solve errors. I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned something about app organization. Until the next tutorial, thank you and goodbye.